think we don't have a specific season. You have to watch out. Season, slow season. Yes. We didn't hear nothing. Yeah. Tu n'as pas vu que Capalusa est sous l'automne. Tu n'as pas vu ça. Tu ne le sais pas. Il l'a pas dit. Ce n'est pas l'automne. À Capalusa, il l'a pas dit. For the sims or for the for the pets, so I can make for my dog a special meal with uh, everything. Yeah. Are there some new receipts? Uh, on the, on see, the... I don't know. So yeah, actually there is some new stuff in the, the PC version. We do have the idea of gourmet pet food, so uh, you know you can cook up some uh, special meals for your pets. Uh, one of the things I really like is the the new carrot plant, so you can actually feed carrots to your horses. Oh you know, great! Yeah, carrots. The carrots. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Pourquoi ne pas avoir fait plus d'animaux à pouvoir contrôler seulement chat, chien et chevaux Et pourquoi pas euh, T'as la licorne aussi. T'as la licorne. Et pas, euh, le hamster, comme tu dis. Oui, mais le hamster, le serpent ou autre chose. She, she asked, she asked why uh, in the, the version console or computer can we only have three uh, different kind, uh, species to control, so the dogs, the cats or the horses, but not the, uh, the rodent or the, the lizard, why not those uh, animals? Well, I think it really speaks to uh, the type of experience that players like to have with their animals. I mean, cats, dogs and horses, you know, they're very personable creatures. You can spend time with them, and you know they do develop personalities. Uh, people form real emotional attachments and become very invested in their pets because those pets do recognize them and have a lot of uh, close emotional attachments to them. Uh, I think with some of the smaller creatures, you know, like our rodents or snakes, there isn't that same level of uh, interaction that we have with them. And there is a lot of cool things you can do with them, but they do live in the terrariums. They aren't fully controllable because we didn't think there was as much you could do with that experience, and we really wanted to focus on the major pets. Yes, but you don't do our rabbit zoo. Oh, no rabbits, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but with the rats, we can, you can have something else. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, I, you, you can take those, uh, those minor pets out and play with them. You can actually form relationships with some of them. Uh, you know, our birds are very cool. You can teach them to talk. They'll get out and fly around the house. Uh, they'll actually end up playing tricks on Sims, you know. If they hear a doorbell sound a few times or hear a cell phone going off, they might try and mimic that sound and uh, trick the Sim into thinking something's happening. So there, there is a lot of fun stuff with our minor pets, but they aren't fully controllable animals. Uh, there's no wolf and no werewolf. No werewolf. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> is that spider? <laughs> yeah. There is spider. Uh, there is spider. Since I fear, but seeing uh, spider. So, is there spiders in the game? And are Sims afraid of the of those small animals? Oh my god, that's a spider. Please well, take it away. <laughs> it depends on their traits, right? I mean, uh, Sims yeah, will have different animals. reactions yeah. to different animals, certainly depending on the traits that they have. Uh, there aren't any spiders, but if you like little creepy crawly things, we do have an ant farm that's very cool. Because <laughs> I saw in the traits that there are... Uh, a dog lover, horse lover, cat lover, mm -hmm. and uh, another for the general animal, so animal lover. But what could be what could be cool? It's a, a trait afraid of the animal, so not a hate yeah. trait. Yeah. Pas un trait pour dire on n'aime pas les animaux, but a trait. You said I'm afraid of, so yeah. just a, a little bit like the, <laughs> the I hate children, but I'm afraid of animals. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean we consider a lot of things. I don't I don't know specifically what was done for the console version, but. Uh, we really wanted to focus in on Sims having a really great time with their animals, okay. so... Yeah, I think we accentuate the positive. <laughs> <laughs> well, will the... Um, the mystery of the mine... I don't know if the mine... 
Do mine, right? Mine uh, uh, will be uh, discover with a unicorn. Unicorn. Oh, unicorn. Ah, unicorn. Yeah. Unicorn. 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 Et eh ben je me demande si c'est avec la licorne qu'on va pouvoir découvrir le mystère de la mine. Oh ben peut-être une autre question. Non, non. In the, uh, the Sims 3, non. there is a mine. So in the Sunset Valley, on the north, oh, there is a mine. Right. So everyone is asking, what's the mystery is that mine? <laughs> And it's just like, okay, why we cannot put some two eyes? And uh, after late the Sims, the player said, okay, there is a mystery. Okay, okay, okay. There so is a mystery discovered by the, the unicorn. So I have no. No, no there is no, no eyes mystery. Eyes are not tied into the unicorns. Uh, I will say. You know, I, I've read posts on the forums where people are speculating, you know, what are the eyes all about. Uh, it's, it's a little fun, you know, Easter egg for us. Uh, I encourage players before, uh, go out and look around their world and see, uh, see where the eyes might turn up now. You might find them in a few different places. <laughs> Could the, 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 the pets injure Sims? Uh, pets injuring Sims? Uh, nothing like long term, you know, they do have some uh, negative interactions or mean socials they can have with them, so, uh, uh, you know, a cat might claw or swipe at a sim or hiss at them, uh, you know, dogs can be aggressive animals, uh, so they might end up chasing a sim. Uh, I love having my dog chase after the mailman. <laughs> uh, I wish I could make him chase after the newspaper boy. Maybe you can, so he'd stop leaving those on my porch. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, so there are some uh, some aggressive uh, socials in there, but nothing that causes any long-term harm. Okay. Chloé, est-ce que tu peux demander pour les pouvoirs de karma sur console si c'est fait que pour les animaux ou les sims et les animaux les nouveautés? Well, the the new karma powers are focused on. Uh, on your pets or on or can sims also can can uh, use these those new karma powers? Yeah, the karma powers we brought back a lot of uh, the ones that were in the the uh, previous console game, but we've added new karma powers that are just general, and then we have some a couple that are specific just to pets. So we have uh, one that's called transmogrify, which yeah. is where you switch a okay. human sim into an animal sim, or a dog into a cat, or a cat into a dog. Uh, and then we also have one called Feral Possession, which is where all the dogs and cats will run around crazy and destroy things and pee all over the place. <laughs> there are Meteor Strikes, right? Meteor Strike is a new one. I have to say, I wish we had the ability to trigger Meteor Strikes and Ambitions. So it's so cool on the console yeah, to awesome. be able to just spawn a Meteor Strike wherever you want one. <laughs> uh, in some trailer I've seen a morphing with that uh, just on console or computer too? Uh, sorry, what do you mean by moving? Morphing. morphing. Oh, morphing. Um, in, uh, on, on, the, on the console we can try to to make the dog look like a, a little bit like a tiger, just with the shape. Can we do the same a little bit with uh, uh, the, the computer version? Well, maybe you can talk about your pets a little and then I can talk about some customization stuff. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, we give you lots of options with the coloring and patterns of the animals. So, for example, with the dogs, uh, you, there's kind of a there's a tiger look. No. There's like a zebra. There's like a, a, a hyena kind of. So it has lots of different patterns that you would see on other animals that you can apply to your dog. But just completely morphing to a bear or a fox. Uh, no, it's really just in the patterns and colors. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then on the PC side, I mean, we really wanted to go so far beyond in terms of customization, what players could do in The Sims 2. Uh, so when you go into Create a Pet, uh, maybe you've had the option to see the Advanced Mode, a bit of that, and I showed it earlier, uh, where you can put all sorts of different markings on your Sim. Uh, you completely customize the shape and the size and the rotation of them. So that really gives you the ability to build any sort of pet that you want. Um, you know, I've even seen people go in there and drag out certain things so they write words on the side of their pet, you know. You can be really ridiculous with it or you can make something that's, you know, very cool and completely realistic. Okay. Um, 
Non, 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 moi je veux simplement dire si on pouvait par, par le plus motif motif euh, créer un pattern ah, sur ces animaux directement. Et pas encore créer un monde, la création d'un monde. Je voulais choisir la dernière question. Non, 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 non,